All right, so we got we got four different channels going on. We got people dialing in. I've got uh, a few good people. So let's. I'm going to set things up. So bear with me for a second. Nick and uh, Mark and Manny. Is uh, is it just going to be you three? Just curious. Anybody uh, got your microphones going? I think so from our product line, from the Pandaborn Switchboard product line, it'll be Mark and myself. This All right. Manny. Perfect. I got Nick in here too. Uh, do you guys have cameras? I do. Oh, oh, I let's do turn well. them puppies on. The The world wants to see. <laughs> yeah, Thomas, Thomas, I am I am not going to be on camera. I'm going to be listening in. To, uh, Manny's got the PNS portion. He's going to be presenting it. So I'm going to be just a, a silent observer. Okay, brother. So I'm going to set guest one up. <clears throat> I'm going to, since Nick is up and ready, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> having a little bit of, so everybody out there. So this is what we do. We, uh, we get everybody, uh, everybody gets a chance to see how we work behind the scenes here in the vendor booth area. Welcome to the Western section, gentlemen. All right, we'll get you set up. There's Nick. So you will be guest number one. There's Nick. Oh, we got Manny up there too. So let me get uh, guest number two. Is there? Look at this, boy. You were you're close. You are almost close to being perfect, brother. All right. And just so you guys know, I'm not sure if you've been watching all, all, all week the uh, the programs, but this is uh, we're live on YouTube right now. We're live on two YouTube channels, one Facebook channel, and one LinkedIn channel. Um, so that's Manny, and then we've got um, uh, there's the well, that's that's me. That's not Manny. So actually, uh, each of you are going to do something a little different, right? That's right. All right, yes. perfect. So there's guest two, there's guest one, and there is me. All right. So, and then what we'll do, guys, is uh, we will, uh, let's do this. Whoop, II West section. See, there's uh, three of us, right? There's one of you each. So here's one and PowerPoint. Where's that at? Uh, let me hide that. Hold on. Starting soon. Whoop. One in PowerPoint. Starting soon. Western section scrolling. I can turn that off. I need that on. Boy, that's wrong. Two in PowerPoint. Hmm. All right. Well, let's. Uh, we're gonna fix this up. So we got the three of us up there. Um, who wants to go first in vendor booth day? I'll, I'll kick it off if that's okay. Yeah, Manny, we'll do that. Let me, uh, I got to get your presentation up. So you are panel boards and switchboards. So give me a second. I'll fire yours up and enable. You've got good audio. You've got good video. So you are golden. And I need to turn my computer volume down. All right, so um, let me just do, it is 12.33 anyway. So everybody, this is, uh, I'm going to get you to, hold on, II Western section. Let's do, uh, I'm going to do presenters. And you have the wide. So and you are not Tom Lichtenstein, by the way. I just want you to know. I gotta turn you off. Live scene base. So give me a bro, give me a second here. What, which one is Tom Lichtenstein? Turn that off. I have to turn guest two. I gotta get rid of guest one and turn on guest two. There we go. And those are locked. So just setting things up. All right. So I'm gonna put you up there, Manny. And I need a guest to text. 
which is way down there. And that's not Steve Froming. We're going to fix that in a second. I'm going to go to guess two. And then, whoa, fingers in the wrong place. M-A-N-N-Y, A-L-E-X-A-N-D-E-R, Manny Alexander. Welcome to yep. the group. And Nick Clues. Is it Clues or Clus? It's Clues. Clues. Long you. All right, yep. Clues. I, 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 so I apologize for all of those times that I have said it wrong. It happens every day. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm going to take that scrolling off. I've got uh, your up. I'm going to hide me when you go, Manny, so I'm not going to be in your way. Um, it's 1235. Uh, I'm sure people, I've got people on my YouTube channel. We've got people on, um, let me pop out the chat here. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to see this. Let me, uh, I'm going to pop out the chat so that if anybody has questions, they can ask them. So give me one more second. Live stream. All right. So we've got uh, we've got some people already chatting up a storm. Dan Neeser. Pop out chat. All right. I'm going to put that over here. You may or may not be able to see that. If anybody has questions, I will uh, I will do that. So we got Steve Froming out there. Mike Forster in the house. Thanks for joining us, Mike. Chris Cleveland. I know, Chris, it took you to the previous one. I got, uh, I sent out the new links. So thanks for joining us, Jeff Grassi. Thanks for Felix Sandoval. So Manny, Felix is, uh, is, um, I wonder what the heck happened there. Hold on. We just switched. You guys, I don't know. I've never seen that happen before, but you guys switched. But uh, Manny, uh, Felix Sandoval is our furthest guest. So um, we always do a shout out to Felix because he's a new IEI member and um, I've got to get you uh, fixed back up again. Somehow uh, you all switched. I don't know what happened. Do that. Do that. And this. And Manny, you are back in the hot seat there we go all right oh and i still got <laughs> i still got him up there how the heck did i get him up there oh i know how hold on guess two guest one there you go there we yeah go. there we go we're getting there you know guess so because because guest uh Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say that everybody knows Manny Alexander at this point. All righty. Jeff Grassi, don't feel bad, Joe. Okay, so meeting David Williams is in the house. Excellent. Um, uh, and uh, <laughs> I like Mike Forrester says he's having problems with chat, but yet he's chatting away. So that's okay. All right, Manny, I am going to get myself out of the way, and, and I would like for you to do a, a little brief overview introduction of yourself for everybody out there in Tubeland, and, um, and then you can continue on with your presentation. Sounds great. All Thanks, right. Tom. So uh, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you're calling in from. I uh, appreciate you, you tuning in and, and listening to our, our brief presentation here. I'm Manny Alexander. I'm an employee at Eaton. I'm actually one of our product managers within the electrical sector, specifically within our uh, panel board and switchboard product line. So I'm based out of the Carolinas. I'm excited to talk to you today about some of the, the, the cool and exciting stuff we got going on at, at my product line, um, uh, the panel board and switchboard product line. So you know, a lot of really great innovations have happened over the last, you know, 20 years in terms of, of technology changing, right? Think about, you know, think about like your cell phone and how much that has changed. Think about, you know, why 2K was, you know, what, 20, 20, exactly 20 years ago. Um, but when you look at the history of circuit protection and the evolution of evolution of circuit protection, there's a lot of um, uh, opportunity to basically 
leverage all of those advancements in technology into, you know, the fundamental um, uh, piece of equipment, you know, circuit breakers that are used in panel boards and switchboards. So really excited to introduce to you our new line of panel boards and switchboards that integrates Eaton's new power defense circuit breakers with our power expert release electronic trip units. So, um, you know, we've, uh, we've used our time tested solutions with our assemblies and, and embedded that new technology that power defense brings to bring, bring you a lot of great features. And we got a, a really short period of time today um, so I wish I could spend more time talking about all of the, the different features um, but quickly we'll just highlight a couple and, and kind of do a, a feature highlight for you um, uh, and, and then you could always reach out um, in the future if you have any more questions so you know when you start to in integrate the power defense breaker some of my um, my favorite uh, features are the uh, the predictive capabilities with breaker health diagnostics. You know, think about in the past when a breaker, um, you know, basically did its job and performed and maybe cleared a fault to protect your downstream wiring and equipment. Um, you know, over time, those those hits that the breaker take could degrade the breaker, and we had no way of knowing what that condition of the breaker was over time. So now with breaker health diagnostics. Um, we have the ability to give you a percentage health rating so that you have the ability to basically have some form of predictive maintenance as opposed to reacting to, uh, to a component failure. Um, we have integrated metering capabilities in the breakers that allow you to meter currents, voltage, um, power and energy within the trip unit itself, within the breaker, as opposed to having to add a lot of external widgets, you know, CTs and, and other external meters. And then also we have the ability to basically plug with a standard USB data cable um, into a PC uh, with the, the use of our, our Power Expert Protection Management software. So from your PC, you could pull a lot of great data from all of these breakers, but also perform secondary injection testing, you know, straight from the PC, saving you a lot of um, a lot of dollars and time um, since you don't have to use expensive test kits or, or you know, potentially using um, you know specialized third parties. Um, all of this data that you're collecting with the breakers is great, but it's important to be able to communicate that to someone in order to use the data, right? So these trip units um, have embedded Modbus communications that can be, um, you know, daisy chained together by our factories up to a, you know, maybe an Ethernet gateway or something like our dashboard light processor. So really packing a lot of intelligence into, you know, our time tested um, panel board and switchboard solutions. Next slide, please, Tom. So like I said, um, I wanted to do a, a really quick um, feature uh, highlight here with, with um, the arc flash reduction maintenance switch. Um, so power defense breakers offer multiple methods of arc flash mitigation, but for applications where maintenance is performed locally at the breaker, Eaton's arc flash reduction maintenance system, um, we abbreviate it as ARMS, can be used for um, majority of, of the frames for power defense. Um, so an electronic trip unit's instantaneous trip setting is capable of clearing a fault with in roughly 50 milliseconds, um, but ARMS uses a separate analog circuit. So this bypasses the electronic trip unit's microprocessor that requires time to boot up, to perform current conversions, and execute its code. So by cutting out the need for computing time, the analog circuit can provide even faster breaker clearing time in the range of 10 to 30 milliseconds, which results in a much lower arc energy exposure um, to the maintenance staff. You know, in some cases, using ARMS can reduce NFPA 70E hazard risk category classification, uh, requiring less PPE to work on assembly uh, with breakers. Um, when ARMS is engaged with our power defense breakers within our, our power line expert uh, assemblies, uh, the breaker is put into maintenance mode and maintenance mode can be turned on via that local switch at the trip unit or uh, remote switching with a 24 volt DC power contact or even through those Modbus communications that I, I mentioned on the previous slide. Um, you can confirm that Modbus mode is on at the breaker by that solid blue light on the front of the new PXR trip unit um, and or by using a relay contact connected to maybe a remote light or an, or other signal um, and last by reading the status via those communications once again. So, you know, what we're really excited about with this feature is the consistency that our, you know, industry leading solution of arms brings from breakers ranging from 15 amps the whole way up to our, um, uh, our power defense insulated case breakers up at, at 3000 amps. So, uh, really, really excited about about that feature within the Powerline Expert products. Next slide, Tom. 
you know, that was the main thing that I wanted to hit on was basically that feature focus and giving you a very, very high level view of the new Powerline experts, um, panel boards and switch boards. Um, but what I encourage you to do is visit our um, our campaign website, theeaton.com forward slash guardian of the grid. Uh, the guardian, as you see, the, uh, the robot figure that represents our new line of panel boards and switch boards, a fun way to talk about um, our new products. But also if you wanted to find out some more information about the breakers themselves at a component level, um, I highly encourage you to visit eaton.com forward slash power defense. So that's all I had. Um, Tom, it looks like you've been uh, Pending to some of the, the questions, are there any that you need me to answer at this point in time? I got to unmute myself. Uh, I, I got I got the uh, I think the chat's doing good, but I talked about the uh, the arc reduction maintenance switch this week with everybody uh, with the case study for with uh, Ken White. Uh, up in New York and uh, you know the value it brought to that that application where it saved some lives probably and uh, and you know reduced the downtime and all that good stuff so that technology is is uh, is critical but what I real what I personally really love is the maintenance uh, features you know that health aspect that you can have the condition of health on the overcurrent device that is critical for 70e uh, any anywhere we uh, we employ trying to determine personal protective equipment, you've got to go to that upstream device and determine its condition of maintenance. And to have a device like that, which uh, will tell you its condition of maintenance, I think is absolutely critical for uh, the electrical worker and electric sa electrical safety. So um, I commend that product line for coming out with that product because that is going to be huge. It's, going to, it's a game, game changer, in my opinion, in our industry. So... Cool beans. Any questions for Mr. Alexander? Any questions? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin Nick. I don't know what pinning does. I'm hopefully it keeps him steady right where he's at. But thank you, Manny. And I'm going to uh, queue up. I'm going to queue up the other presentation. Let's. Uh, Vendor day five, and I believe that is going to be Nick Cluse. Sounds good. Is my audio okay, Tom? Oh, your audio is perfect. Let me get you cool. up there. Oh, look at you. And look at me. Go. And you got Manny's name in front of you. So you are the new Manny. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, hold on one second. Let me fix that. Uh, there it is. I'm just going to change his name, K-L-U-S. All right, so there you go. I'm going to fix your PowerPoint. Okay. Or actually, that's not. I'm not fixing your PowerPoint. I'm fixing my screen, so you didn't do anything wrong. Oh, wait, that's not your PowerPoint. Is that your PowerPoint? No. No. No, no, no. I don't know. Let me, let me make sure I get there. It is here. I've got to close Manny's down. And stop that. There it is. And then you, and now this, you've got another great program. All right. Nick Kluse. So take your time, buddy, and let uh, okay. people know who you are. Let me, uh, I can make sure I have your whole PowerPoint up and nothing but the PowerPoint. And I'm going to make you a little smaller. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right, so uh, I got to unlock you. I'm going to put you up here. This is this is the value of going live. All right, put you like that, and get your name up there in lights. Nick Cluse, and I am going to get out of the way, and man, and Nick. Take it away, brother. All right. Well, thanks, Tom. And um, you know, appreciate the opportunity to have a chance to uh, speak with everybody today. Like Tom said, uh, my name is Nick Kluse. I'm the product line manager at Eaton for uh, both our safety switch and also our dry type uh, distribution transform product line. Um, <clears throat> really today here, uh, mostly in the context of our, our safety switches and and um, happy to represent the, the 300 or so employees that um, 
and we have based out of our Cleveland, Tennessee operation that supports the safety switch product line. Um, if, if you think about the, the safety switch product line in general and, and, and just safety switches uh, as a whole, you know, really it's a product that still is, is, is hugely relevant in, in all kinds of different applications. You know, everything from, you know, certain residential, multifamily residential through industrial commercial construction. So, so it's really across the board. So no doubt you guys run across these every day. Um, and, and if you think for a hundred years, really that product line had, had remained largely unchanged. Um, one of the things we're really striving to do at, at Eaton uh, in our product line is, is find ways to take the, the canvas of a safety switch and um, either apply different value-added propositions to it. Um, we also have a, a flex center for uh, really, frankly, unlimited customization. And, um, but also, we're looking at ways that we can enhance safety and we can, we can uh, you know, make sure that we're meeting the apl applicable codes of the day, which is really why I'm here today to talk to you. So um, if you want to go to the next slide, Tom. So, so again, no doubt everybody runs across safety switches, um, you know, quite frequently in your different roles. Um, wanted to highlight a product that we just launched that really addresses a code change um, that uh, being transparent was a challenge for our product line, um, you know, given that it, 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 it has functionality that, it, that safety switches have historically not had before. But really, <clears throat> this product is intended to, to address, you know, the NEC 240.67 um code requirement which essentially says you know at a thousand amps and above uh you you now have to integrate some sort in certain cases uh some sort of arc reduction uh technique uh on fusible devices right breakers came first and, and obviously uh as tom said he's talked about you know the arms functionality through our circuit breakers um which we achieved through you know the the, the trip unit designs um, but if you think about what arc energy reduction in, in, in terms of safety switches means, it's a little bit of a longer putt to try to figure out how to, to accomplish that. So what you're looking at here is a safety switch that um, I, I wanted to make everybody aware in case you see it, you're, you, you at least have familiarity with what it is and what it's trying to do. So to, to address 24067, some sort of arc energy reduction, the first thing we really had to do was come up with a way to remotely open a safety switch. Um, if you think about a shunt trip on a circuit breaker, um, that functionality really historically for the safety switches in the industry uh, wasn't wasn't something that was commercially available. <clears throat> At Eaton, we, 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 we changed that. We went and we developed essentially a shunt trip mechanism that can be used on our, our safety switch product line so that it can be remotely open. Once we had that taken care of, really the next phase was to go out and try to find a way that we could, you know, take a look at what was going on on, on, on a certain circuit. And um, in the event of an, you know, an, an arcing situation, you know, do we have the ability to provide a relay that can um, provide that arc energy reduction that, that you know, meets the, the spirit and the intent of that code? So we um, were able to get that piece of it done. So when you take the relay piece and you take the shunt trip safety switch piece, you know, now what we've done is we've we've married those two uh, bits of technology together and, and, and you get what you see here, which is essentially a shunt trippable safety switch with arc energy reduction that that complies with 240.67. I want to point out, I mean, if you look at that, it, it not only includes the safety switch and the relay, but also, um, you know, the, the, the CTs that are required to, to make sure that we, um, you know, that, that we operate it correctly. This is all factory wired. This is all uh, fully tested, again, in our Cleveland, Tennessee plant and um you know fully compliant with ul 98 standards so um, it's really an out of the box put it on the wall uh, meets the code kind of solution uh, there's no other components or things that need to be integrated into this so pretty straightforward um one other thing to point out uh even if if, if the 24067 wasn't a current concern um another nice feature of this is we do have ground fault integrated into that relay so for service entrance applications uh, you know, over a thousand amps at 480, um, where ground fault is required. This is now another option in the market if you prefer a safety switch design versus a, a circuit breaker design. Really, it's kind of the first uh, that we know of in the industry that kind of takes care of 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 of, of that application. So, um, you know, really, again, I know very brief discussion today, um, but you know, we do have a lot of information. If you want, want to go to the next slide, Tom. A lot of information, and I really just kind of wanted to point you guys in the right direction to eaton.com slash shunt trip, um, where we've got, a, a, again, multiple documents around this. On the right, you can see it really more of a um, marketing, commercial, uh, why you might need it, you know, what some of the concerns are, um, you know, one page document. 
uh, for general awareness, but we also have a really good technical data because if you think about one of the challenges again with the arc reduction uh, as it applies to a, a, a safety switch, right? Obviously the, 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 depending on the type of event, having fuses in it, having a relay, obviously there needs to be some, some thought behind, you know, you, you know, how the fuses and the relay are, are working in concert with each other. That technical data really digs into that issue quite a bit, far more than, than we have time on the call today. But again, if you go to that website and, and, and on the resources tab, a lot of really good information there about how, uh, you know, the different, you know, uh, you know, curves from the fuses and, and, and the relay and, and the maintenance mode. Um, I don't think I pointed that out. Really, the, the way that it operates is very similar to the ARMS circuit breaker that, that, that I know you've heard about with, with the ability to put it into a maintenance mode, right? So, um, again, a lot of good data out there. Um, and most of all, just wanted everybody aware in case you saw this, you know, as you're doing an inspection or you see it on a job site, it wasn't, wasn't the first time you'd seen it and wondered what it was. So, again, at Eaton, trying to push the, uh, the boundaries on what safety switches can do from, a, uh, from an application and from a safety standpoint. Uh, and we're all really excited about it. And hopefully it's something that uh, meets a need in the market. And, and, and to Tom's earlier point, you know, maybe, maybe we can protect some people better out in the field. Awesome. Awesome. So, Nick, you know, 24067 is definitely a hot topic. Um, so we have uh, a question from Mr. Nieser, and you know, you know, Dan, he's asking, when will this be available in switchboards at higher ampacities? It's a good question. So if you think about our switchboard product, they utilize the um, a lot of you are probably familiar with the legacy brand Pringle. Um, that's that's an Eaton brand that that uh, most of our switchboard fusible assemblies integrate. Um, we currently are using this same device. Uh, that, that, that will be the solution uh, we're going through right now. And obviously, uh, you know, there's a lot of different product testing that goes into that and a lot of, um, you know, especially at the higher ampacities, you know, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, different testing and, and, you know, actually shooting this stuff to see how it performs. We're going through a lot of that now. Um, and then obviously, uh, Manny's product line will, will work on integrating that into their assemblies at a later date. Um, right now, I'd say if I had to, to, to ballpark it, given we're you know kind of coming to the home stretch of 2020, um, you know we're probably I'd say you know I'd say we're probably about you know mid to late 2021 at this point by the time we get um, some of that pulled into the Pringle product line. But very active project as, as far as Eaton's concerned. Um, we're, we're 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 pushing as as fast as we can. Obviously, with COVID, we've had some. Uh, some challenges around new product development, especially with this having to get it into labs and, you know, travel and things like that. But um, we know it's a uh, we know it's an important topic for you guys, and we're pushing hard to get it commercially available as soon as we can. Awesome, awesome. Um, I'm just looking to see uh, if there are any any questions. Any questions for Nick or Manny or or uh, anybody else now? All of these people know my email address and you know how to get a hold of me. I can get you in contact with Nick and crew. Uh, so, you know, reach out to my, you can reach out to me or your local Eaton people for help on uh, any of the Eaton solutions. So um, that's, uh, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So um, I, I I was I, I had a question for me too, but oh, a thousand amps and above is 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 your ground fault protection of equipment. Twelve hundred amps and above is your arc flash reduction technologies. But um, you could put arc reduction technologies on any application, right? I mean, it's the 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 code just says twelve hundred amps and above, and GFPE just says thousand amps and above. But you know, we what's our range? I mean, we we could go. Yeah, so so that's a that's a great point, Tom. So you know, if you think about you know the, the there's obviously the safety by code right that comes into play, but that that doesn't mean it's not a good idea to potentially apply it somewhere else. You know, where maybe the code hasn't driven it yet, but but it but it's just a good idea from a yeah. from a safety standpoint. So our shunt trip safety switch uh, goes all the way from uh, we go down at this point to 400 amps. So you think you can go to a 400 amp switch and, nice. and fuse it down from there. So really anything from you know, a, a lower amp all the way up to the, the 1200 amp safety switch could use this technology, uh, either both from a, from an arc, arc fault or, you know, the, the ground fault functionality of it. And really, and frankly, that shunt trip could be used in a lot of other ways too. You know, if you think about, you know, the need to wire, say an e-stop, mm -hmm. um, even if you don't have that relay or shunt trip technology, um, you know, for instance, you know, I, I have a safety disconnect that I want to be able to 
um, you know, turn off, you know, say via push button, you could use it in that kind of application. So yeah, the, the 2467, while important, isn't the only place that you could potentially yeah. use this. And that goes for breakers as well. So breakers, we go we go re- very low on arc reduction maintenance switch on circuit breakers, very low on arc reduction maintenance switches on uh, and ground fault protection of equipment across the line on uh, on switches. So check both of those out. Uh, check out the health on cir- on that new circuit breaker power defense. That's a I think that's going to be huge for a 70e uh, environment. So. All right. Anything else? Any other questions? All righty. We're good. David Williams, Jeff Grassi, thank you. Joe Hurdle, thank you. Uh, Felix Sandoval, you hung in there the entire week, buddy. I really appreciate that. And hopefully I will see you at the Eastern section, which starts next Wednesday. I already put that out. All IAEI members should have the link for registration in the Eastern section. It's going to be the same platform as what we did this week for the Western section. And Nick, am I going to see you at the at the Eastern section? Am I going, are we going to talk about uh, about safety switches and and Manny? Are we going to be talking? Uh, are we going to be talking about uh, circuit breaker technology out the Eastern section? I wouldn't hope. miss it, Tom. All right, brother. I knew I'd count on you guys. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. We. I tell you what. That just shows you from an Eaton perspective. We support the IAEI, all of the efforts that they're doing, all the electrical contractors. These individuals are the life safe. They they need life safety uh, technologies. And as manufacturers, we're bringing it to the market, not just Eaton. All of the other guys are doing similar things. So it's a good thing. And the IAEI brings a, a great platform for us to get together and talk about this stuff. So thanks, Mark, Jeff Grassi, Dan Neeser, all you guys on YouTube land. You guys were the only two vendors we had or the only vendor that we had for this session. So thanks for closing us out. And uh, thanks, Nick, for taking the time. And and you too, Manny. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate it. We we had Mark Rumpel, Alan Wyant. We had some of the big names up on the uh, from the Eaton side ready to take questions. So and Gerald, yes, O'Connor, please, if you guys you're welcome. And if you want uh, more information, you can just send me an email and I will filter it to either Nick or to Alan, or to Manny, whichever is appropriate. All right, it's been great. This is literally, Nick, my last session this week. It is I, I, just... I, ho- I hope the, the final performance lived up to the, uh, the slot that you gave. <laughs> it so. sure did. It sure did. All right, I'm going to shut down the feed, everybody. So thanks, Felix. Thanks, everybody. Take care. God bless. Be safe, and please stay healthy. All right, I'm going to hit end.